morning. This morning what I want to take a look at are um, what I call complex combination circuits. Um, these are circuits that have um, series and parallel parts to it. I'm only going to look at the analysis process. I'm not going to necessarily get into all the calculations that show equivalent resistance and all the Ohm's law calculations. I'll kind of just give the answers on them. Um, that's not the intent. The intent is to focus on analysis part of this problem. So here's the circuit that um, we're going to take a look at. And the, the resistors that I'm going to be interested in, uh, I want to know about the 2 ohm, I want to know about this 4 ohm, and I want to know about this 2 ohm. I want to know the voltage, and I want to know the current through these resistors, voltage and current. Um, in looking at it, I see some series resistors right there, series resistors right there, series resistors right here. I see parallel branches right here. I see a parallel branch right here. And so there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. And of course, as I simplify the parallel branches, we're going to have more series resistors. And that's kind of the idea, is to simplify it down to a circuit with a single power supply and a single resistor, or at least to just a series of resistors. Um, so to begin with, I am going to focus on basically what I say, it's deep into the um, problem. And I'm going to look at this parallel branch. And when I say I'm going to look at it, what that means is I'm going to simplify it down. And so um, when I simplify it down, it's going to be simply a branch with a single resistor or a parallel circuit with a single resistor along each branch. This branch would be 3 ohms. This is 5 ohms because we have the 2 ohm and 3 ohm in series, and I'm going to go ahead and combine those. Now, this branch is equivalent to 1.88 ohm resistor, um, and that's just using my equivalent resistance calculations. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify the circuit. I'm going to redraw it, and instead of that parallel branch, I'm going to put in a single 1.88 ohm resistor. So then this circuit becomes, and if you just give me a second, and now what I'm going to look at is simplifying this parallel branch. And when I simplify the parallel branch, I'm going to combine the two uh, series resistors along each line. Basically, it's going to look something like this. And we have to, we can't use the equivalent resistance for parallel with more than one resistor along that line. And so that's why we have to add up these uh, resistors. So that's 9 ohms. And this is. 4.88 ohm resistor, and this is equivalent to a 3.16 ohm resistor. And so now, once again, I'm going to simplify. Oops, I just noticed I forgot a resistor right there. Didn't matter for this, but um, it will matter because now I'm going to redraw this. Um, I'm going to redraw this circuit again, basically coming down here. And, uh, and now this is going to be my final simplified circuit. We could simplify this one more step to just a single um, resistor by adding up my four that are in series. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I, I feel OK working with um, this since the resistors in series simply add up. My total resistance is just the sum of these four resistors in series, 11.16 ohms. If I know my overall voltage, I know my overall resistance, I can calculate what I call my total current. 
some people may not use the same terminology. It's it's the same idea. My overall current is my overall voltage, my, my battery voltage, divided by my overall resistance. Um, I will just kind of show this one set up. And I get a current of 1.61 amps. I don't round a whole lot with my current. Um, and what this tells me is the current that through this circuit is um, 1.61 amps. Now, whoops, that the current through the circuit is 1.61 amps. Now, let me go back to my original picture real quick and take a look at the resistors I'm interested in and see where exactly they are in my simplified drawing. I'm interested in this 2 ohm resistor. I'm interested in this 4 ohm resistor. And then this 2 ohm resistor right here is actually buried or, or in that 5 ohm simplified resistor, which gets put into that 1.88 ohm resistor. When I look at my next drawing, I'm interested in that resistor and that 2 ohm, this 4 ohm, and this 1.88 ohm, which means I'm interested in this 9 and 4.88. Basically, when I say I'm interested, I'm going to work my way backwards through these calculations because that contains some of the resistors that I need information for. At my last picture, I'm interested in this 2 ohm and this 3.16 ohm. And what I already know is that the current through these resistors are 1.61 amps. 1.61 amps. Now, what I can simply take, I have resistance, I have current, and from that information, I can get voltage, Ohm's Law, and I get a voltage of 3.22 volts. So, for this 2 ohm resistor, I know everything. I know the current, I know the voltage, I don't need to look at that 2 ohm resistor anymore. What I want to take a look at is this 3.16 ohm resistor. Again, I know current, I know, I know resistance, I can calculate a voltage, I got 5.09 volts. And what I'm going to do with that number is I'm going to take that number and apply it to that resistor. And that 3.16 ohm resistor represents a parallel branch. Voltages across the parallel branch are the same. So both of these resistors, this 9 ohm and this 4.88 ohm resistor, has a 5.09 volt resistance. I know current. I know voltage. I can calculate. Um, I'm sorry. I know voltage. I know sys resistance. I can calculate current. And so as I'm my current through this 9 ohm resistor works out to be 0 0.566 amps and this current is 1.043 amps. So now I'm going to go back to that bigger circuit, and I'm going to apply these currents, which means this is 1.043 amps, and this is 1.043 amps. That 4.88 ohm resistor represents two in series, and so the current through the 4.88 ohm resistor is the current through the two in series. Same thing over here. Point 566 six amps is the current through the 4 ohm and the 5 ohm resistor. Well, I can calculate voltage right here. And my voltage drop across that resistor, 2.26 volts. So I know current and I know voltage through my 4 ohm resistor. I'm done with that one but I still need to focus on this resistor. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to now go 
back up to this picture where this is this is 1.043 amps and I know resistance I know current we calculate voltage if you haven't picked up there's just simply a pattern here calculate voltage calculate current calculate voltage calculate current this is 1.96 volts 1.88 ohm resistor is based on a parallel circuit so both branches are 1.96 volts I've got voltage I have resistance I can calculate my current through that 5 ohm equivalent resistance which is 0.392 amps which means that 2 ohm resistor has 0.392 amps flowing through it which means my voltage through that resistor is 0 0.784 volts so now I have my current and voltage information for the 2 ohm resistor these calculations aren't necessarily hard but as you can see it gets a little bit busy organization is important and admittedly this is not my cleanest um, analysis um, simplifying the simplifying the circuit to get it down to a manageable circuit I like to get it down to just resistors in series and I can work from that and then working my way back every time I went through a simplification I worked back through that process um, to get to that final resistor the other thing that um, is important to note is my total voltage value of 18 volts all my voltages that I calculate must be less than or equal to 18 volts if I have some parallel I could have 18 volts I'm never going to calculate a voltage greater than 18 if I do I made a mistake also my overall total current 1.61 amps I'm never going to calculate a current um, bigger than that all my currents following that must be um, smaller and and that's what we saw um, I saw always smaller and smaller currents so um, I feel good about that so that's what I have for you hope you found this some value um, good luck